so I'm on the subway, right, minding my business, as one does, right, and this guy comes in. He comes in strong, with a purpose, no shirt, muscles just rippling out of his body, his pants all the way down to his knees, all the way down, boxes showing, everything, but in his eye, in his eye, you can tell something's not right. You can tell something's not right. Next thing you know, he throws down his, his suitcase and then picks the littlest man and starts wailing on him. And the little guy's like, no, no, and starts running. I'm like, what? What? Little guy runs all the way to the other side of the train and tries to get out his locks. Why do you do that? Why do you lock some of the doors? Oh my God, so he's locked. And, and big dude, big dude, boom, boom, starts wailing on him. Lifts little guy up like a backpack. Lifts this grown man like a backpack and slams them down like it's the WWE. And what does everybody do? They quietly get up and walk the other way. Now, on one hand, I get it, you don't wanna die either, but on the other hand, there's like, you can't just, so I yell, stop, from across the train, stop, because apparently I'm the only one who thinks to say stop. Because at this point, poor little guy, he's in the air a second time, about to be slammed down again, and I just can't, I can't sit by and watch anymore. But me yelling, stop, Gives him enough time to get away. He gets away. He dodges and dodges. He starts running back to me. I'm like, come on. But I, so he runs back to me and I'm like, just go to the other train. Just go through. And I, I, I got him through. And then I, I stayed in the way. I'm like, am I going to die on this hill? Is this the hill I'm going to die on? But that door is locked too. Why do you lock the doors? It doesn't make any sense. So now we're all trapped in the corner. And this drunk white girl's like, no, stop. She must have had so much to drink because she had no care in the world for her life. She's like, babe, stop. He's fragile. Don't fight him. And mind you, little man is not fighting back because he's got scoliosis like crazy. How do I know? I felt it when I tried to guide him to the other side and failed miserably. But then, big dude pulls out a weapon. I don't know if it's a knife or a needle, but it's sharp. And I'm like, oh no, baby, no. What do you need a weapon for? He's so small with scoliosis. He's running away. He can't even reach your face. Why? Drunk white girl is unfazed, puts herself in between them immediately i was like wow and she's like put that away just put that away put that away and let's all just go home little man bop bop dodges again runs to the other side the white girl, stop just stop come on leave him alone he's fragile me i try to like kind of accidentally put myself in the way to slow the big guy down a little bit but ho hopefully not die myself Finally, the train stops. Little guy's at the door like, open up, open up, open up. He gets out. He runs. He runs to the other side. I'm like, go, baby, go, baby, go. He runs to the next train. He's safe. He's home free. The guy, big guy with no shirt sits down. Like nothing happened. The white girl looks at herself in the reflection and says, oh my God, people say I look like Paris Hilton. I do not look like Paris Hilton. I don't know who she's talking to. And I'm shaking. I don't know what's happening. I'm never riding the train again.